Hi everyone, my name is Karen Everett and I'm a story consultant with New Doc Editing. In today's editing tip number 10, we look at how to construct a climax scene for a character-driven documentary. You can still pull off a riveting climax even if you didn't capture a big explosive moment on camera. A climax scene ideally meets the following seven criteria. First, it's an event. Second, that event is the most emotional moment in the film so far. And for the third act climax, it is the most emotional moment. Uh, the third criteria is that that event was captured on camera. And then fourthly, you want to place it around the 95% mark, 95% of the way into your film. Fifth, during this event, the protagonist struggles under great duress to achieve their goal. That, that struggle has to be related directly to their quest, their goal in the film. And then finally, this struggle answers the film's central question. It's always some version of, did the protagonist reach their goal? Two great examples of this kind of climax scene are the cove in which multiple protagonists film a dolphin slaughter undercover, and the Russian woodpecker, which I worked on as a story consultant and which won the Grand Jury World Cinema Prize at Sundance in 2015. While I won't give away the ending, I recommend it as a great example of a three-act structure in which the protagonist struggles mightily to achieve his goal. Now, what if your footage doesn't meet these seven criteria, or even six of them or five of them? You could keep shooting, hoping something big happens, or you could construct a climax by leveraging a small emotional moment with the cinematic tools of documentary filmmaking, including things like great sound bites, photographs, and music. Let me make it clear that we are trying to approximate the three-act structure here. We don't have to get it perfect. You don't have to get all seven cri uh, criteria, uh, but this technique can help you uh, get at least four or five of them. So let me give you an example. In the film, uh, the documentary Annie Leibovitz, Life Through a Lens, the climax scene reconstructs the death of Annie's lover, the writer Susan Sarandon, with a few key elements. Of course, if the director had filmed Annie at Susan's deathbed, that would likely have made a powerful climax scene, and for whatever reasons, that didn't happen. In this short clip that I'm going to show you, notice <clears throat> first there's a brief verte scene in which Annie cries just for a moment, and that small emotional moment is then leveraged with some compelling music and stunning photographs to create a powerful climax. Here we go. And Susan was not doing so well, and then the, the call came that basically the bone marrow had failed. So I flew out and brought her home on that small jet. It was the first time I thought I should, I should take some pictures. I could not be unaware. So I just want you to notice here, as Annie starts to get choked up, the music comes in, and then we've got this great sound bite. Of how charged and emotional it was for Annie. Although we don't know for sure, it's possible that the director planned this Verte scene uh, by having Annie recount Susan's death uh, while she's surrounded by Susan's images and, and with another person there. The point is, you can direct scenes in which powerful emotional moments are likely to arise, giving you then the kernel of a, a climax scene that you can then enhance with amazing sound bites, photographs, music. Uh, so I hope that you found this editing tip useful. If you have, I invite you to download my free book, Documentary Editing. You can email me or go to my website, newdocediting.com. Thanks for your attention and for keeping your viewers glued to the screen.